What's going on guys? So I know it's been a little while since I put out a video. Uh, I'm just trying to revamp a couple things. We actually did a really awesome video. We had a race between the M4 and the Miata, but I absolutely lost all the footage. So we're gonna try to recreate that and uh, hopefully get that out in the next day or two. But today, um, I am at Tampa Auto Sports. Now, I have never been to this place before. Um, always heard people talk about it, but I was super impressed when I got here. There is just a lot of really awesome cars. Um, so let me show you what they got. There's an RS7 here. Back there, they got a uh, Lamborghini, it's a Bentley back there. Um, of course, the M4 we'll talk about, we're gonna do that to that in just a second. Uh, a couple GTRs, Supra, um, just a lot of really, really awesome cars. Um, they're off Dale Mabry, uh, Tampa Autosports. Definitely check them out. They do everything from wide bodies to wraps to um, installation, ceramic coating, um, just all kinds of stuff. And I just had no idea they did all this. So uh, today what we're going to do is, um, and I apologize, in the video that I just recorded that I lost all the footage, we kind of talked about the plans for this thing and then some of the modifications already done. Uh, but we'll go through that real quick. Um, so right now it is on a boot mod three stage one, um, probably makes about 500 to the wheels. Um, I'm waiting on down pipes and charge pipes to come in so we can go stage two and then we'll get alpha to tune it. Um, one thing I learned about these cars, which I did not know, you can go full E85 with the stock fuel system. You literally just put E85 in it, um, after the tank's been drained, obviously. And then from there, just put an E85 tune on it. It'll make about 600 to the wheels, and that is gonna be absolutely perfect. And uh, we're gonna take it to the track. Uh, but I can tell you already, with just the stage one, and you guys will see from the video when we do the Miata versus the M4, um, those tires are not gonna cut it. It definitely is gonna need some, some tires because just at 500 to the wheels, there is literally no traction at all. And with traction control on, it really, really cuts the power. Um, and like, again, you'll be able to see the difference um, in the race from traction control on with track off and just how it cuts the power. Um, but anyway, just show you what we've kind of done so far. So a lot of the stuff you guys know stock, the carbon wing, the, uh, the carbon diffuser. Um, in the trunk, I have a carbon three-piece lip um so basically there's going to be a whole carbon front lip at the bottom as well as these pieces here are all going to be carbon and we'll get a, a video of that once it's done um as far as other modifications we'll have to uh have to do the exhaust for you in a little bit but all right thank you we're gonna go inside in a second and check it out but we went ahead and put the bms uh intakes on i really love these they kind of match the car and it sounds freaking awesome. Um, as far as other modifications, that's probably gonna be about it. Like I said, we'll just do the stage two for now. Um, it is on uh, Swift R spec springs. And the reason I went with springs, and I'm super against coilover, or super against springs in most cases, um, this car has the active dampening. I didn't wanna lose that because you can definitely tell a big difference when you change the dampening. So I didn't want to lose that. So I put the springs on there and it absolutely sits perfect. If I had coils, this is probably where I'd set the ride height. Um, with the lip, you know, the front end's already pretty low, but with the lip, it's gonna it's kind of like a flat lip, um, which is nice. So it's not gonna, I shouldn't have any problems. I should be able to go straight over a speed bump, um, not have any issues. All right, guys, we're getting ready to wrap this for the first time. And this is from RW Carbon. Um, I know a lot of people recommended them. This is gonna be like the M Performance style. So. Yeah, so those are basically gonna go kind of where the fog lights would be if the car had fog lights or like covers. It's supposed to be pretty good quality, so. <clears throat> you know, it's funny, because with this lip, like every time you search like M4 on Google Images, because it's a BMW like factory part, yeah. it's like they all have it. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so like the car looks funny when I got it without having it, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're pretty nice pieces for sure. Yeah. Yeah, really good actually. No mist weaves or anything. Nice. And I like that lip because the car is lowered, but that lip is like really like hardly anything. So yeah, yeah. it's not gonna make it. Yeah. Because yeah. I had an Evo a long time ago that had a big Voltex front lip on it. It looked yeah. like a snow plow and it was horrible. Oh, yeah. It was like you couldn't go over speed bumps, you couldn't go certain places. No, I don't want to do that ever again. So. Yeah, we have a couple, a couple customers in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Voltex, yeah. Beautiful. I love it. It's good looking. No, it looks yeah. awesome. It's the best lip for that car, but man, it is low. Yeah. 
And with that lip, it's funny. If you don't slam the car, it don't look right. Yeah. It, so. Getting this thing unwrapped. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that's nice. They looks like they're pre-drilled. That's nice. That way you don't have to drill into the carbon. Oh yeah, that is nice. Oh, I see. And basically these pieces here just sit kind of inside that. Okay. Yeah, my other buddy Josh has a white M4 and you guys did the same lip on his, so. Yeah, that's good. At least it don't come damaged. Yeah. Mm. Let me grab it. Oh yeah, that's a nice piece. All right guys, just got done with the uh, alignment and the whole install. Pulling it out right now. Right. Gonna take a look at it. See how it came out. Oh yeah. Proper. That's how it's supposed to look. That's pretty good too. It's not too low. It just adds a tiny little bit to the front. So that's absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, it looks super good. That's how it should look. really really good all right guys so that's gonna wrap it up this thing came out freaking incredible make sure you guys check out tampa auto sports like i said they do everything every make and model definitely check them out thanks for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe